On September 11, 2001, 2,606 people were reported murdered in the World Trade Center. 125 people died in the Pentagon, 265 people across the four planes that crashed into various locations on that terrible day, including eight children. 1,140 people who worked, lived, or studied in Lower Manhattan have been diagnosed with cancer as a result of exposure to toxins at Ground Zero. We all know about what happened on that evil, awful day. But now, the perpetrators of that evil may not face the death penalty. Before we go on to the story, I'd like to quickly tell you about my pillow. Mike Lindell wants to help everyone get the best sleep of their lives. That is why he created my pillow as well as the Giza Dream bed sheets. And now you can get these for deep discounts. You'll receive 60% off of the Giza Dream sheets. It comes with a 60-day money-back guarantee and a 10-year warranty if you use the promo code Hartman. That's my last name, H-A-R-T-M-A-N. You will receive a set for as low as $39.99. And you'll also receive Mike's soft cover book free when you use the promo code Hartman. Just go to MyPillow.com and click on the radio and podcast square or call 1-800-566-6745 and use the promo code Hartman to get deep discounts on all MyPillow products, including the MyPillow mattress topper, MyPillow towel sets, and more. Going back to this story, next month it will mark 22 years since that day that will live in infamy in American history. The perpetrators of that event, some of the perpetrators I should say, Khalik Sheikh Mohammed as well as four other terrorists, have been held in Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. Former President George W. Bush set up Guantanamo Bay in 2002 following 9-11 in order to place the, the prisoners in a certain location. Now, subsequent presidents, such as Barack Obama and Joe Biden, have announced that they would like to close, close Guantanamo, Guantanamo excuse me, Bay. In fact, under uh, former President Obama, he actually lowered the number of prisoners in this facility from 250 to 41. President Biden has since said that he will try to lower it even more and close the facility. That is where those prisoners have been held. And for 22 years, they have been thought and indeed deemed to face the death penalty for the crimes that they committed. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed actually was the one who suggested the 9-11 attacks to Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden and then planned the attacks. And then the other four were involved very closely in some way. But now there has been a letter that has been sent out to the families of the victims of 9-11. This letter was sent from the Pentagon and the FBI. And this letter has alerted these families that the perpetrators may not face the death penalty after all. Their death sentences may be overturned through plea deals. Now we do not know what entity or which lawyers are behind this effort to overturn the death penalty, but we do know that there is a coordinated effort to do so that is getting the Pentagon and the FBI so heavily involved that they have to notify the families of these victims that this could be a very legitimate possibility. Delays and legal disputes have postponed the death, the death penalty actually taking place for those five perpetrators. And as far as these um, plea deals go, there has been no trial date set for when this is going to be decided. Let's pause for a moment and just consider that, as I said, next month will mark 22 years since this event took place. These people have been in prison for over two decades. It says so much about the legal industrial complex of the United States that these prisoners have not been executed yet. It is important to note that Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, who is, uh, was the, the main perpetrator, the planner, the organizer of 9-11, actually said that he wants the death penalty because he wants to be known as a martyr. Perhaps that is part of the push to get rid of the death penalty. I'm not so sure. There's a really in vogue idea in the United States that the death penalty is evil and unfair to prisoners. So maybe that is more of the reason why they are trying to get the death penalty or overturned for these prisoners who more than probably just about anyone living on earth deserve to have it enacted against them. 
Anyway, it speaks to this legal industrial complex that has infected the United States in so many ways. In California, all of these litigations and lawsuits have made it such that it is against the law for you to have a diving board in your backyard pool if you own a home in California. Litigation has gotten rid of interns in the state of California. You can't have an unpaid intern because it's some supposedly exploitative to the intern to not get paid. Lawsuits in this legal industrial complex has led to ridiculous things like these million dollar payout settlements for a customer of McDonald's burning his or herself on coffee or chicken nuggets. This legal industrial complex has led to the Department of Justice using its time, energy, and resources to sue the state of Tennessee over Tennessee's state legislature's uh, law passed prohibiting minors from getting transition surgeries. So all of this effort, all of this time and energy is being focused on trying to get a uh, client's desired outcome through this legal industrial complex. And what this does is that it has the effect of trivializing real evil and criminalizing fake evil, like burning your tongue on a chicken nugget. The same mechanism that gives that person the millions of dollars for burning their tongue on a chicken nugget is what is allowing these prisoners' death penalty to be delayed decades and decades, now going into the third decade that it will be delayed, and it probably will not happen at all. It is amazing that this is the place that we have come to, and I will end on a final question. How do you think our enemies view us? What kind of message are we sending to the people who may want to harm the United States? Are we strong in their eyes? that these prisoners 22 years later haven't been executed and we are wasting all this time trying to debate, figure out, perhaps unravel if they should, it is certainly not sending a good message to those people. Thank you all very much for joining me. As a reminder, hit the subscribe button down below so that you can stay notified every time I post a duly noted news video or a timeless episode, and I will see you soon. Take care.